Hi, Hill Knight. Welcome to my channel. I'm the type of person that likes to solve a problem before it becomes a problem whenever possible. And I see a potential problem coming uh, this Halloween season and future Halloween season. Now, at the time of this recording, it's late March. I'm hoping that getting my video out now will reach out uh, over the coming weeks and months, and hopefully it will help uh, solve this problem that could happen at Halloween. The Black Panther movie is just a phenomenon because at the time of this recording, it has spent five weeks at number one in the domestic box office. Now, in this day and age, it's lucky if you just get two weeks at number one. Maybe once in a while, three weeks. But five weeks in a row, the movie did more money in its first four days of business than the Justice League movie did in its entire theatrical run. That's crazy. And I'm very happy for it. So uh, a few weeks ago, I saw a video about these two uh, little boys. I think they're twins. Uh, I believe they're white or they're definitely not black. <laughs> uh, they were playing with the official Black Panther toys, you know, official masks and the gauntlets. And they're like, I'm the Black Panther. No, I'm the Black Panther. And they were just running around the living room and shooting the little discs from the gauntlets and things like that, trying to challenge to, who, to see who would be Black Panther. And it's very adorable and very fun. And after I watched the video, I thought to myself, I bet there will be somebody who will watch this and cry appropriations. And I see that happening coming this Halloween season. I can imagine people who love this movie and make no mistake, it's people that love this movie. You don't spend five weeks at number one with just one specific race or nationality going to see the movie. No, these are people loving this movie. I can imagine come Halloween, there's a bunch of non-black, non-African folks that want to dress as characters from the Black Panther movie, and then they get hit with backlash. The Moana movie experienced some backlash because Disney had the audacity to release a costume for little kids with the tribal tattoos of Maui. Okay, it was the, you know, Disney does this all the time with his characters. The main characters, they make little costumes for the little girls and boys. And here's Maui. He's got the muscles. He's got the glass skirt and he's got the hook. And, oh, no, he has tattoos. Now, I'll admit, I don't know much about the Polynesian culture. Pretty much almost everything I know is from either the WWE or Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So I do know that the tattoos are often meaning more than just decoration. They could be uh, family history or faiths or things like that on the uh, tattoos. Okay, fine. And then uh, I recall last year, a uh, celebrity, she dressed as a native for a uh, Thanksgiving party and people went crazy and demanded apologies and how dare you uh, mistreat the Native American culture and things like that. It's... A Thanksgiving party. There's only three possible costumes. Okay, it could be a pilgrim, it could be a native, or it could be food. Okay, <laughs> you know, it'd be one thing if she was just uh, doing it as a general costume party, but still, if it's a Thanksgiving event, you only got three choices. Okay, folks, you only got three choices. And then last year, I believe uh, there was this very uh, nice young man who had to do a report about. A uh, historical figure that he considers a hero. He was not black, but he wanted to be Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., including dressing up in uh, a suit, wearing a, a beard, a, a beard like Dr. King, and unfortunately painting his face brown, which you know recalls a lot of blackface. Now the parents you know, did advise the young man about it and. Uh, there was still a bit of controversy, uh, you know, but still, that young man genuinely likes Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., genuinely wanted to uh, portray him as best as possible. So, yeah, I can see, come Halloween season, people wanting to dress up as characters from the Black Panther movie, which has a very, very, very few non-black, non-African uh, cast of characters, 
you know, experience backlash. I mean, what, if the person is white, do you want them to dress as one of the uh, museum personnel, okay? Uh, if you have an Asian friend, do you want that person to dress up as that Asian uh, black market arms dealer woman? You know, it, 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 there's very few options if, if you generally love this movie and you're not black or African. <laughs> so, you know, at, at least with the um, Maui and the tattoos, and the young man that wanted to dress up and paint his face, and the Native American uh, mistreatment in this country, at least those are all based on some form of reality and atrocities. Black Panther is fictional, okay? Wakanda, fictional. Vibranium, fictional. And with that special plant that he eats, fictional. Killmonger, Fictional, okay? They do raise some interesting, realistic issues in that movie, but it's fictional. It's even a coincidence that the Black Panther superhero debuted a few months before the Black Panther movement was founded. Okay? You know, that, that is a pure uh, historical coincidence. They, they honestly did not have one with, to do with the other. It's a pure coincidence. But still, come Halloween, I don't want people who generally love this movie. And once again, people love this movie. When I went to go see the movie the first time, behind me, there was uh, four young uh, white kids, probably around uh, somewhere between 11 and 13, and they had a, a white adult with them. And at the end of the movie, they were thrilled, they were ecstatic, they were just talking about all the characters and having a lot of fun and said, oh, I want to see that again, we can see it again, okay? That's genuine love of this movie, okay? So let the people who genuinely love this movie dress as a character. They want to dress as a child with the full all-black costume, let them. They want to dress as one of the door, door of a magi, shave their head, let them. And remember, at the end of the movie, T'Challa realizes that Wakanda can't be by itself. It has to branch out. It has to share its resources and its culture and its knowledge and information. We've spent years with all white or mostly white things to dress as, okay? You know, no one cries appropriation when people dress up as folks from Gilligan's Island. No one cries appropriation when people dress as a uh, few from Seinfeld. No one cries appropriation when people dress up as Superman or Spider-Man or any other um, traditionally white uh, characters. So let's not start with the Black Panther movie. People love this movie. Let them dress up if they generally love this movie, especially since, like I said, very, 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 very few non-black, non-African uh, options. Well, that's my thoughts on the subject. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I would love to hear your comments, whether you agree with me or even disagree. Share your comments in the section below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or dislike, share, and subscribe. Thanks again for watching. I'm High Hill Knight, and remember, find inspiration everywhere.